Dr. Royson, age-related cognitive decline, can it be avoided or averted? You know, it's a very important question because we think a lot of it can be averted mm -hmm. because what happens with age, we call normal. Right. But remember, it doesn't have to be normal. So 60% of people die of heart attacks or strokes mm -hmm. as they get older. Is that normal? No, but it is typical. It okay. is normal. Typical. So what we've got to say is we don't think that heart disease or vascular disease, mm -hmm. which most age-related cognitive decline is due to, is a normal aging process. It's an abnormal process we bring about by our choices. So is heart disease mm -hmm. needed? Well, some vas vascular disease that is some valvular disease of mm -hmm. the heart, sometimes occurs that we can't stop because of wear and tear. Okay. But disease of the blood vessels of the heart mm -hmm. is never a concomitant or invariable thing, as far as we know. And that means that it isn't of the brain either. Okay. So taking nutrients to the brain and away from the brain, mm -hmm. one of the key things is keep your blood vessels normal. Most important number to know. Do you know the most important number? No, what is it? It's your blood pressure. Ah. It, only your spouse's birthday is more important, <laughs> or your anniversary day All if you're right. a guy, um, because you get killed if you forget those exactly. days. <laughs> but your blood pressure, 115 over 75, most important. It's six times more important than knowing your HDL cholesterol for women or your LDL cholesterol for men. Now, second thing mm -hmm. is you want a little healthy fat. Because that DHA that I yes. talk about every now and then, that DHA, we are all fat heads. <laughs> so 60% of your brain is fat, and more than 50% of the fat is DHA. So we don't get enough of it, because our fish supply doesn't have much of it in anymore. All right. Only salmon and trout. So we get it, I get it where the fish get it from, from algae. Mm -hmm. You want 600 milligrams a day. All right. And then the third thing, and I've talked about this often, is a little physical activity. So just doing a little physical activity keeps your arteries young, keeps your nerves with new connections because you've got to avoid falling mm -hmm. and you've got to have coordination. Best game you can play yes. is ping pong. Ping pong. Because it makes you move fast. Mm -hmm. It's You move from leg to leg. You have to have coordination. You have to have some skill. You have to think about where your opponent is. So if you want to play a game, play ping pong. On the other hand, cardiovascular exercise, strength training, all of those things, yoga, are all good for the brain. And I've always, and I always like to mention coffee and flossing, because they're two unusual things, but yes. they both help the brain. Yes, coffee and flossing. It's actually interesting. My kids, <laughs> when they were growing up, played Shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders, not only that one. And I played infinite games of shoots and ladders and Monopoly. <laughs> okay. But I also played a little ping pong, which is the game. If you're going to remember one game, mm -hmm. remember ping pong, <laughs> and you want to beat one of my friends. <laughs> Who is? A guy named Al Ratner. He okay. was one of the, he's 89, 88 or 89 or something older than I am considerably, and he still beats my pants mm -hmm. off. It's a good thing I don't bet him because he owned my pants now in ping pong. Okay, coffee, flossing, and ping pong. Coffee, Among flossing, other and things, ping pong. and the DHA, and right. et cetera, et cetera. Thank you, Dr. Royson. Thank you.